Hello there! Kayleen Volker here, coming back for week three of our Crafty Christmas Collab 2019, hosted by Bourbon Creek Crafts. Uh, thank you so much for Beth inviting us. This week I did some crafty things um, using my Kiwi Lane templates. Again, we'll go back. Mine's the North Pole Gazette is the pack that I chose. And I used the a la carte sparkle from Kiwi Lane, nature number six, accent four, floral one T, accent, tiny accent, sorry, four T, and tiny charmed one. And I made some Christmas ornaments. My friend Annis was the first person I had seen that had made these. So give her credit. So what I did is I used these. Christmas ornaments from Dollar Tree. They're really pretty. Um, plastic, they have lots of glitter, so if you're not a glitter fan. <laughs> but so I got some different sizes of those. As you can see, they're really pretty. And then what we did what I did was I layered. So this one is the floral, and then I put one of the large ones, and then I just layered them up, and this is also from Dollar Tree, so that was a Merry Christmas one. And then this one here, I used Tiny Nature and layered those up. This one I actually was a snowflake and I tore or popped off the sides of it so it fit in the middle. And same with this one. This one's very similar to that one. It just has the um, clear around the edges. Um, I think this is one of my favorites. It's not as glittery. I'm not a huge glitter person. So I love that with the, the two little deer. I think that's really cool. Um, and this one's pretty cute too. I love the, the plaid in the background. So those were my ornaments that I made. So that was a great way to use just little bits and bobs of paper. Um, I really like that. And I think they turned out really cute. So I'll be throwing those on my Christmas tree whenever we go to decorate it. And then my next thing that I did, I only made one of these. I thought it was cute, um, which I may do some of these as party favors. Um, I actually got this idea from Amber over at Lyric Lover 810 on YouTube. Um, she shows you how to take an 8x8 piece of paper and fold it. And she made hot cocoa packs. And then she found some um, little spoons that were made out of um, candy canes that I thought were adorable. Um, I couldn't find any. Um, she also, her hot chocolate packs um, have red writing on them. But I had these, apple cider, which I thought looked really cute in there. So that's what I put in. These are from the Cut Aparts. So I thought those were really cute. You can get quite a bit in there. I mean, there's, oops. <laughs> There's quite a bit of space in there to slide some things down in. So those would be really cute teacher gifts or gifts for your co-workers or anything like that. Pretty cute. Then the next one was also from Amber at Lyric Lover 810. Um, she takes these notepads from Dollar Tree, which these are plain. Um, they do. I tried to find some that were lined, but... I couldn't find any this size that were lined. And I put on, these are the cut aparts. So I put those on front and back and then ran over the top. So I could just throw this in my purse, have a little thing to write on um, as I'm running along. I can also, um, if I'm out and about, I can do a little journaling and add that to my junk journal that I made the first week. And um, that way I have it right with me and you just jot things down as we go. So I thought those were pretty cute. I will probably make some more of these. I really like these. Um, actually might make some that aren't just Christmas related. Then also to go along with my junk journal, I made some pockets, some little envelopes to use in my junk journal. I love pockets. I like adding them to the sides of the pages, tucking little things in, tickets, whatever. So I made, I made a bunch of different ones using my... Um, envelope punch. Um, this one is one of those that takes the whole page 
And if you remember, I used one that I cut it all apart and used it as a title on one of my scrapbook pages that I did last week. Um, and so this one can go in my, my junk journal. There's that. I love this one. This is this little size is probably my favorite size to use. And so there's that one. Hadn't used this paper yet in anything, so that was pretty cool. And this was supposed to be one of those... Um, Oh, uh, what do they call them? Policy envelopes. I didn't quite get things cut right, but I think in the end it turned out okay. But it might be too big, too wide for my um, uh, December daily. But I'm thinking it might fit in that back pocket. So that might be a fun thing just to have, you know, and put in the back pocket. But then I punched it. I don't know if you can see that. I punched it with the scallop punch. So those were my products for this week. Um, I feel like I got quite a bit accomplished and some really cute ideas. Um, I have lots of, I still have lots of paper left, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week. I may do some more scrapbook pages, um, because we've added another day to our trip to Branson. And so it'd be nice for all of those to kind of match. And this just paper just lends itself to 